Uh, let me put the date of recording. Um, I guess I'll put that there. Eight and time. Oh shit, I should put it the other way. Time. Video. This is my some of my notes. Uh, it wasn't even February 14th, Valentine's Day. Oh, happy Valentine's, everybody. <laughs> uh, anyway, so here are some of my notes I took earlier. Uh, I think. I'm only talking about. I think the, the the biblical story of the the Genesis, the biblical. I believe, based on my research, uh, the the uh, the biblical biblical. Genesis story of creation of humanity is generally true, except uh, the it's a the creators of humanity was not were an alien. Alien or extraterrestrial species called the Elohim, and I guess you can. Oh, I don't know if I want to put so many sources. There is a there is information about how the words Elohim were mis were the the meaning of that is actually a plural and. Uh, it's not there may be a god who actually uh is the ultimate creator of everything but the beings who created us i is uh i think they they, they were these aliens these uh, and um if you go to the Lacerda files um here is one quote uh from the Lacerda files your race was genetically engineered by aliens and we were just a more or less passive visitors of this accelerated evolution process. So, and I'm just going by the more or less, the implication being they had some input, meaning the, the Terran reptilians. The story about Eve eating the forbidden fruit and gaining the knowledge of good and evil uh so so when in the you know the serpent tells uh, Eve to eat the fruit so this is what i think happened okay <laughs> the elohim came to this planet i don't know maybe maybe millions of years ago or seven hundred thousand years i don't know when they came in but um they came a while ago, and the Elohim are, are they are the Nordics. I think the the set of files claims they are the Nordics, you know, the Nordics uh, who, Nordics from Aldebaran, the Aldebaran system. And if you are familiar with some of this uh, literature, uh, Hitler, you know, the uh, was uh, the Nazis were in contact with these Aldebaran uh, Nordics, and they gave them technology, the UFO technology. So there is a battle going on here, but the battle is not between good and evil. The battle is between these two kind of uh, species, the, the reptilians, the Terran reptilians. Uh, coin, uh, like the uh, Stelicita uh, files claims, and these other alien species called the uh, Elohim or the, the Nordics from Aldebaran. But there are, I think, Earth's history is much more complicated because there might be other species of aliens and 
other entities from other dimensions. It's, it might be way a whole lot of complication. But I'm just going to focus on the Elohim and the reptilian, the Terran reptilians, because there might be other types of reptilians from other planetary universe, or star systems or universes or anything. So, so what's going? What's happened here? The Elohim created humans through genetic engineering, and the or the the first humans the creed they created were like they lived in the Garden of Eden, and the and, and the, the 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 Garden of Eden can be seen as some kind of a, like a. Um, it might have some kind of a technology that 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 it's like it might have some kind of a crystal technology i mean i'm just speculating here but you know i have heard a lot of things like this where they might have certain vibrational frequencies that allows your you to live for for a very long time so you don't age and die very quickly so when you're in the garden of eden you're very healthy and you know it's the tree of life and all of that um but what happened was the Terran reptilians, they didn't like these Elohim making these, taking these uh, pre-humans or, you know, like the the ape-like creatures which were here and making them um, more intelligent. Uh, but at the same time, um, the humans had a limitation and the limitation was... Um, you know how in the Bible it says that, you know, after Eve ate the, that's what I said. Um, <laughs> so after Eve ate the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, she she felt shame. And so what is the idea? The idea is the... There is a conflict between the Terran reptilians and the Elohim, these Nordics. And in order to, the Nordics were using the humans they created to, I don't know, to do some kind of a project. Maybe they were workers or something, okay. And the, the relationship between the Nordics and the humans they created was a very good relationship. Primarily because... The, those humans, the initial humans, Adam, you know, Adam and Eve, they were, they didn't have, in my opinion, they didn't have the capacity to make moral judgments. So they were, in a way, they could be easily controlled because they're not going to rebel. They don't know what, they don't have that capacity to judge, right? So when, uh, the, uh, when Eve ate the fruit, which can be seen as the reptilians, maybe they gave some kind of a, uh, did something to the human genome, which allows them to have the capacity to make moral judgments. From that point on, humans be, became difficult to control because they didn't want to be slaves. They didn't want someone telling them what to do. <laughs> it's just that age old idea of rebellion against authority. And, and, the reptilian didn't do this because they wanted humans to be free. This is something I have to stress. Reptilians are not your friend. The serpent is not a friend of humanity. The serpent was was like envious or didn't like what the the real enemy of the serpent is the Elohim, the Nordics. But the the it's like this. Why did they want to do this? It's because they want to ruin the plans of the Elohim. The Elohim wanted servants. They wanted beings who could be easily controlled by giving humans the capacity to make moral judgments, differentiate between good and evil. Humans became rebellious. They did not want to take orders from the Elohim. They did not like being slaves or being subjected to any harsh treatment. So, so... So then humans became hard to control and the Elohim banished them out of the Garden of Eden and then humans were like left on their own. Um, and maybe they left, maybe the Elohim left, and we, but maybe other, uh, you know, the fallen angels, you can think about that. Maybe the, some of them returned and they tried to develop a relationship with humans 
told you know told him hey if you're faithful to us we will be good to you um so humans if you look at this humans are like a pawn in this big fight the aliens are fighting with each other and humans are like kind of in the middle and we're being used uh, in these wars and if you think of world war ii you can some people say that that's a war fought between these alien species using the body of humans and it's one of the limitations of humanity and one one what makes us easy to manipulate and control is because we don't have these psychic capabilities uh, and 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 these aliens these these other species they have very, they're very psychic they can they can you can imagine a human being uh, as just like an open book they can read your thoughts they can implant thoughts into your head and they can control your behavior and i think there might be some kind of a technology somewhere on this planet i've heard this said that there's some kind of a pyramid in antarctica that's 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 uh, pulsating a frequency some kind of a device that's uh, making us all like um that's suppressing our perception that's preventing us from seeing these beings out there um so we're being like controlled and used by these other species uh for various purposes <laughs> okay um so this is a place of humanity. Humanity is being used. Okay, first of all, humans were created to be these kind of worker bees for these Elohim. Or maybe they just wanted to have someone to have a relationship. Maybe this is like, maybe it's they're very religious and, and they want someone to worship them or they they have they want that kind of a relationship or something. I don't know what it is, but um. Yeah, so humans are in a very tough spot because we, because we we don't have the capacity to see these beings and they manipulate us. There might be some humans who are more psychic than others, but most of humanity uh, does not have its psychic capacity uh, activated. And I think there might be actual technology either in Antarctica or even the moon. I've heard the moon could be a, a device. There might be some kind of a device suppressing our consciousness radiating from the moon. Uh, you know, and the moon is kind of weird if you think about the uh, you know, history of the moon. So we are like kind of caught up in the middle between the war between these other species. Uh, so... You can tell the the human, you know, we've got a reptilian side to us, and when we've got also this kind of other side, like this wanting to believe and this high frequency, you know, the Elohim are like that. I think uh, the Nordic from Aldebaran, they 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 uh, they are these um, these. Um, If you, I guess if you look at the modern day Christianity and how they talk about faith and all of that, you know, the believers, <laughs> the believers, uh, that 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 tendency in humans to want to worship and 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 that that might be what uh, how we were created. Um, but the reptilians are like, you know, they're much more calculating. <laughs> um, but the reptilians are not your friend. Don't don't think the reptilians are your friend. The reptilians are only looking out for themselves. They, I think they kind of uh, they look down on humans. They might be indifferent to us, but they're not our friends. But the Elohim could be our allies. This is another controversial thought. I, uh, maybe it's not that controversial. I think the people who won the World War Two. I don't think the. I think. I'm I'm not going to say that the the Elohim are the good guys, the the Nordics are the good guys because they're fighting with the reptilians, and there could be other species as well. I think what happened in World War Two, the effects of what happened is still being affected. Uh, still, ha the 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 reverberations are still being uh, felt now. Um, I don't know if the good guys really won World War Two. 
I'm not saying the Nazis are the good guys, but I'm not sure the ones who actually ended up so-called winning are the actual good guys. They might be ignorant humans who didn't know what was going on. Uh, maybe there was an intervention from this other alien species, you know, the so-called greys or whatever. Um, but humans are in a very difficult spot because we don't have the psychic capabilities, or at least we're being suppressed. So, so these other beings, they read us like we're an open book. They manipulate and control us. And um, perhaps one way to fix this problem is to either evolve ourselves as a species through genetic modification and or stop that technology that's being used against us to that's preventing us from seeing these aliens and these ufos you know that's it's that's sort of you know preventing us from perceiving them um anyways that's what i call this uh, Hmm. I don't know what to call this right now. Uh, oh, Genesis. Biblical story of creation might be true. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll call it that, maybe. Uh, 